recovery matters, whenever we hear court saying that, yes, we attach your property and therefore we are forfeiting you, you've got to forfeit this kind of property that you mm. have back to state, one would expect that at least with the kind of forfeiture and all that, it will be a deterrence. But maybe corruption is so deep-rooted that we just, that is just see mm. nothing else happening. Yeah. It's something worth talking about. I think so. My question is, do we actually need police officers on the roads? Mm. Look at it. What are they doing? Do we need to see police officers, traffic police, on the road, why? Doing what? M managing traffic <laughs> at traffic lights when the traffic lights are working. Watch are those ones that even manage traffic. On the highway? On a highway, you find <laughs> police officers Doing what? stopping cars and then... Checking what? What exactly? Uh, that what you've are, paid what are those things we have? Or uh, what? Insurance. Uh, insurance. Oh, checking insurance. <laughs> and the validity of your driving license mm. and this and the other. Mm. And, and then what? Then. We deploy so many officers on the roads just to do that. Mm. To check the validity of your driving license. Mm. <laughs> And whether you have a valid... And whether, whether your, your headlights, both of them are working. And whether your car is defective. And whether your car is defective, whether the tires are worn. We do all that, yes. And whether you are, you know, speeding at a place that's clearly not marked that you should reduce your speed, mm. but then you should know that you should reduce your speed. Actually, you should. Uh, okay. Anyway, let's move on into our next conversation. Our guest is in the studio. We want to talk about the issues affecting the Meru County government. And we're now joined by the majority whip in the County Assembly of Meru. His name is the Honorable Jim Mushui. Good morning. Good morning to you. Karibu sana to Kenya's biggest conversation. Asante. Thank you. Asante sana for joining us. That's the hot seat of the Situation Room. We're going to have an interesting conversation, understanding what's going on in Meru. Uh, to welcome you to the conversation, C.T. Muga has the day's proverb. This week's proverbs will be from? The country, Republic of Burundi. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you are dancing with your rivals, don't close your eyes. If you're dancing with your rivals, don't close your eyes. Mm -hmm. Honorable Mushui, yes. what do you make of this? What's your interpretation of this proverb? What is it saying? Maybe probably that uh, you be careful when you, you know, your rivals doesn't forget that maybe even if your rivals formally, you are, uh, they, they, don't, uh, they don't forget that you are still rivals. So. <laughs> Uh, maybe when you are in the midst of your enemies, you should be careful, mm -hmm. always careful. Mm. Actually, there is one also in Kemeru that says when you, when you, when you sleep with a hyena, you should sleep with one eye closed. You don't close both eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know why you're sleeping with a hyena in the first place. But okay. <laughs> should you find yourself? Should, should you find yourself sleeping with, sleeping a, hyena? with a hyena? <laughs> yeah. Don't close both eyes. <laughs> yes, you close one. Make sure that it's only one eye that's open. Mm. <laughs> Mushimura, which word do you represent in Meru? I represent the Adwana word. Adwana. 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 It is called Adwana word. Adwana word is in Tigania West. Mm. Yes, the, we bought Isiolo. I see. Yeah, actually, 90% of Isiolo Airport is in my ward. Really? Yes. Isiolo Airport is in Meru? Yes, it's in Meru. <laughs> but the offices are in Isiolo. <laughs> <laughs> the tower is in Isiolo? The hand is in Isiolo. Okay. Yeah, the offices are in Isiolo, yeah. <laughs> But the land is in, is in the uh, Adwana Ward? Adwana Ward, yeah, Okay. Sure. We saw what was happening in the county assembly last week. Yes. There was the bid to impeach the governor of Meru County, which was supported by all members present. Were you present in the house? Yeah, I was present. Which means you voted yes to I impeach the, the Definitely. Government. Why? <laughs> okay. Uh, Eric Meru County has uh, been through a lot since the election. And uh, you remember we had uh, such an issue barely maybe two months after we got elected. Yes. Uh, because, okay, we got elected and we were, we were literally unable to move with our governor. Mm. Uh, because uh, there, there is a way the, 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 the institutions are expecting to work. Mm. And uh, we got to a point where, uh, I don't know whether it's out of experience, because also the president mentioned, remember the president mentioned after the first impeachment that uh, they had experienced issues with the, with the government, but they helped him. Mm. Uh, sorry, her, they mm. helped her. So we had, we had a, few, a few challenges, because now when we got into office, it's like the, the governor expected, uh, you know, she was formerly uh, the, the woman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, the women with their accountability structures, and she wasn't expecting to work with so many people. So when we got in and she found herself in, her, 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 maybe her perception was that uh, this is my government, 
I looked for this government, I should run it alone. Now forgetting that the county government is, 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 is run by the county assembly and the, 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 the executive. Mm. So we really had issues because you would uh, be the assembly and then you all of a sudden you hear the governor is in your want with your opponent that you are competing with in the other election. Mm. Without even telling you, so an inch who informs you, the governor is here, is you the person who was uh, number two. So th there was a lot of uh, political issues. And also on matters uh, following the structures and the land, land down rules. So it's like she came with her own, uh, own, own set of, uh, of, of laws that she was supposed to follow. Like which one? For example, she, there, is a, there are laws on, uh, on issues of uh, employing people. So she came and completely bypassed the, all, all uh, uh, you sub the powers of the public service board. And now she would go to, the, to, the, to, the, to, to a rally and they say, okay, I want to employ cleaners in this market. Uh, can those who want to be cleaners raise their hands? You saw it in the Senate the other time. <laughs> and then people would raise their hand and then maybe like the, she needs to. Yeah. Then they would come on the stage like 10. Yeah. And then, do you want this one? No. You want this one? So she picks two, the most popular. Now you're employed, does it? So we end, we end those issues. And we end a very hard time to tell her, no, these things should be advertised. Go through the public service. And then, <laughs> and then, and then we, 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 we have it as a competitive process. Because now you can imagine, uh, Eric... Your mother is that rally. Your wife is there, and uh, maybe your children. Mm. Then you 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 come on stage now, and then you are voting. Uh, you 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 are not favored. And people mm. don't. You vote. see that kind of uh, of trauma and all that. It was too much. Mm. And they are laying down rules on how that should be carried out. That's an example of one. Mm. So um, now we came and uh, we, we went through some negotiations. We agreed. And then uh, we, we thought, uh, we, we went to work with the government because we thought uh, we can maybe help as an assembly mm. in terms of governance. So we, we have been, with I have personally been a friend for the last like, uh, maybe like, like six, seven months after the other impeachment. Mm. We have tried our best, but it isn't working. Mm. Tell us. After the last impeachment, yes. what attempts were made at reconciling the assembly and the executive? We first of all, we were. I was in the part that negotiate or, or was in the negotiations. I we were invited by the deputy president. Mm. Three, three, three. We were three representatives of the three regions in Meru, and then the speaker and uh, the majority leader and the minority leader. Mm. And uh, we, we we sat for three days. We were able to agree on a few things. But now what happened also in that negotiation mm. was that even before we concluded the negotiation, the governor went back to Meru and mm. now started, uh, started, started intimidating the MCs such that uh, uh, she wouldn't go, like when the, when the negotiations were going on even before, there is even something we were, we were to sign at the deputy president's uh, office, which was never signed. We were to sign a document on the agreement. Mm. Now, what happened in the process of negotiations, uh, she went back there. She will do the Okolea. There's uh, something that she calls o Okolea, mm -hmm. whereby she organizes a rally on a Sunday. On a Sunday. On a Sunday. Mm -hmm. Maybe a rally, like, it's attended by, like, 10,000 people. So she comes with gumboots, uga, and all that, that gives people. Mm -hmm. So if she does that in your ward, you are done. Because she'll come. <laughs> 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 do it in your ward. Mm. And then vilify, you know, you have refused to work with her. So what she did, during the, as the negotiations were going on, she went and started now doing those rallies. Actually, they, she started doing them now, it's not on a Sunday only. They started now doing them like three times a week. Mm -hmm. So she could come on your ward. Mm. So you are like forced to join her. Mm. So by, com by compulsion, MCS was, were, were forced to join her, even before the negotiation, before we joined formally. So the few who were left also gave in. That's what happened. Mm. So the, 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 the negotiations and the agreements were left prematurely. We, we, we left before we concluded. So there was no conclusion? No there was outcome no conclusion. Actually, for negotiations the document that been... is, up to today, the document is in Honorable Ridicules, the MP for Bori, laptop. It has never been printed. So <laughs> yeah. Let's take a break. We'll come back and continue this conversation <laughs> shortly. 28 minutes to 8. The Honorable Jim Mushui is the member of the County Assembly representing one award in Meru County. He's also the majority whip in the county assembly. We want to understand what's going on in Meru County. What's the beef really between the assembly 
and the executive. Kepitia will be telling you more about it shortly. Thank you very much, Eric, and it's good to be at the Situation Room. Always a pleasure coming here. This is the most challenging uh, interview panel. Club Kiboko Festival is getting better with each edition, bringing you more fun and entertainment. This November 18th, 2023, all roads will lead to the Ulinzi Sports Complex Langata for a fun day full of games, entertainment, competitions and lots and lots of giveaways. This holiday season, join us as we make new memories with friends and family. And who knows, you might even be a winner of the many prizes including scholarships, holidays, gift hampers and much more. What are you waiting for? Book your ticket now on Ticketsasa.com for just 500 bob for kids and 300 for adults. For more information, contact Joanne on 0708-2111-57 or email jnyambura at standardmedia.co.ke The Club Kiboko Festival. Miss it, miss out. As we feed the brains of our little ones in school, the Standard Newspaper takes pride in knowing that we are making a mark in the growth of their minds through the Newspapers in Education program that steers them in the right direction. And we are proud of it. My experience with NIE, I can say that I have really benefited from that newspaper. The newspaper can help me with vocabulary and imaginative and creative writing. Uh, it helps in grammar and it's helpful, especially in English. It helps like when you're writing, you don't write wrong spelling of words and wrong grammar because grammar in English is very important. To adopt and sponsor a school class on the NIE program, it will only cost 14,400 shillings per term or 43,200 shillings per year. For more information, please contact Ronnie Ouma on 0720-809-823 or rouma at standardmedia.co.ke. Newspapers in education. Readers are leaders. Limuru Road coming in west towards Waiaki Way. There's traffic heavy coming off of James Gishiru. It's going to continue that way for some time. We're going to keep an eye on things this Monday. Let's talk on Spice FM, KE on X. Are you ready? Spice FM. Mature, intelligent talk every morning. Spice up yourself. All right, listen to the 94.4 Spice FM, Nairobi. The majority whip in the county assembly of Meru. Mishmo, you're telling us about the efforts that are being made at reconciling the assembly and the executive after the last impeachment bid. The deputy president was spearheading these talks. We heard that, you know, he met with the elected MPs plus the senator. He met with the governor separately. He met with the MCA separately. There was now supposed to be a meeting between. What was the plan here? for negotiations? Okay, the plan was uh, to make uh, Meru County work. Because uh, you understand also, Eric, that uh, the issues in Meru are both legal and political, mm -hmm. in a way. And uh, there is no way a county can function without the executive really working well with the, with the, with the, with the complementing each other, actually, with, with the executive. So uh, the, the, the issue was, uh, to, to see a situation where the executive and the assembly works together to are serving the people of Meru. And uh, actually it was achieved right temporarily. Uh, because now when, uh, after we le after, after the, the first impeachment, after the, we, we, we reconciled, we went back to work. Mm -hmm. But now the governor again now went back to, to the issues that we had uh, last time. Mm -hmm. 
and disregarding all the laws. Everything that you had. Yes. You are among the leaders of the yes. assembly. Yes. Were you on the forefront of these talks? Yeah, I... Did you, as an assembly, have your asks? Did you go for those meetings saying, this is what we'd like, as a bare minimum, from the governor, or to, under to get an understanding on these particular issues? And what issues were they? First of all, we wanted to have a... There was an issue that came so strongly, the issue of uh, maybe an equalization fund. I don't want to call it one fund. The issue of, okay, it's not even a fund. A but, development fund. But a development, equalization development fund, let okay. me call it. But it's not even a fund because now the, it does have its own independent management. It's more of a, okay, a way of equalizing, uh, equalizing the ones. Because we realize also what's happening in the counties, uh, Eric, is that... Uh, you think governor was voted in some regions, and maybe she was not voted in others. And there is always a tendency of directing resources on where you are voted most, or the areas that you perceive will be your strongholds in future elections. Mm. So we, we wanted to have a mechanism where there is a minimum for everyone, such that now even if you don't agree, uh, maybe uh, your ideologies and the ideologies of the MC in that world does not, that, that, uh, that, uh, that uh, world doesn't end up marginalized. Right. Mm. So we, we agreed on a figure, mm -hmm. but now uh, uh, even as we moved, uh, even as we as as uh, as as, uh, as we moved forward, she like uh, started now using is that a tool of uh, maybe micromanaging you, mm -hmm. so that now, if you don't agree, if you have different views, maybe the 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 the, 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 the money for your word is not released. You understand. Mm -hmm. but, and right now, actually, we have a bill to cure that in the assembly. We have a bill coming. We want to have a, a certain percentage of the development money saying that at least the, for the minimum, we want to, 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 to pass it in the assembly. So that now at least this minimum, the, 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 everyone will get this minimum so that the other money is left at the discretion of the, of the executive. Okay. So, mm -hmm. yeah, so we, we, we had those issues that we went the, with them on the negotiating table. Also, she had, uh, like, started grooming the old administrators. So if... For example, in the one that I come from, uh, she re deployed all the order administrators to their home ones. For example, like uh, the, the president doesn't agree with the MP. Mm. So he appoints a DO, uh, or, or a DCC, sorry, mm. a DCC from the same constituency. Mm -hmm. You understand what that means? To be a DCC in their constituency. In their constituency. Mm -hmm. Now the order administrator is deployed to your ward. Who, who comes from the, the owner's people comes so the, the, the governor uses that uh, one administrator for all the development completely selling the, the MC. The That's why I'm telling you yeah. the issues in Meru are largely political and also legal. Okay, I hear you saying a couple of things, Moshima. Yes, we've talked about sidelining, you've used that word a couple of times. You also talk about money not going towards projects. At the first impeachment, were you involved in that? Sorry? The first impeachment. What? You were involved in the first impeachment because she was. This is the second time she's being impeached, isn't it? Yes. Did you, you vote involved? for her? You, impeachment did you vote the for her impeachment at the first? Absolutely. Time? Actually, it's only one. One. Eh? The other time we were sixty-eight out of sixty-nine. Those who voted uh, okay. for the impeachment. At that first time, she did allude to, and she said, you know, in some circles that um, she felt as though she's being witch hunted because something she was very clear about that she was not going to be involved in any kind of crony, cronyism when it came to then, you know, uh, approving budgets just so that people could then pursue their personal interests. And it seemed it didn't sit well with many members of the county assembly. Can you give your thoughts on that? Uh, I, I think, uh, okay, on that, you, you understand that uh, the governor controls all the budgets and... Uh, and maybe the policy too, and it for us Ye we, we only approve. Mm. Yes. Now, when you say people want to, to, to people want to, to maybe to misuse county funds. resources or county funds. Mm. How do they control? And you are the one. How, how do they? How do they misuse when you are the one in control? Yes, when so you put your control mechanisms in place, yeah. Then how does an, an MCA come mm. when our right is uh, when when our rules are oversight, legislative mm. and representation? Mm. How do I get to call the coffers? Mm. That's the question maybe you'd like to ask. Mm. Because I think that was a... That was a, because you realize when uh, she has accused the MPs mm. of catalysm. Mm. She has accused the MCS of catalysm. She has accused the 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 the, 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 the CS, Linturi of catalysm. Mm. She has accused Kreito of catalysm. Mm. She has accused Munya of catalysm. Okay. So how, how comes the You're whole county, all, all people are cartels. cartels. All of you are cartels. Uh, because cartel. now what, what the governor does, eh? Yes. 
every time she has a problem she has done anything wrong and uh, and maybe and then there's something else. she goes to the people mm. and then oh you know they want to steal your money i'm protecting you mm. i'm protecting your money right now the issues we have in our impeachment motion mm. and maybe you have seen it mm-hmm. you realize lot, that yeah. uh, the sister is a pa yeah. mm-hmm. the other sister is the bodyguard mm-hmm. then the the brother is the security mm-hmm. the husband to the brother mm-hmm. is also the other security mm-hmm. to the to the sorry to the sister mm. then the 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 brother in law the husband to the sister who is the pa mm. is the director uh, ex, uh, external linkages or something mm. now the, the issues we have in the motion our county number one is the misuse of county resources mm. and uh, the, the, the 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 family members they have received a lot of money which is indicated maybe catering services and uh, now the question we're asking is this even before we go far mm. how do you is is the sister a pre-qualified uh, supply of catering services what if she was would you still have a problem with that yes there is a problem that's an hypothesis no if if she because you the question if, you've asked now is that if she was pre-qualified yes. if the individual was pre-qualified yes. but at the same time held mm. the position of being the governor's sister would you have a problem with it yes we don't have a problem because now because you, it's you her sister trade, yes you should not trade with your relative now can I, like in my office as an MCA, mm. can I employ my sister as a PA? Why not? Actually, I'm What's asking, why not really? Uh, now that you mentioned, I'm thinking, why, why can't is you it employ against the law? Is it against the it's law? It's nepotism. No, no, but is it against the law to employ a relative? Especially if that relative is qualified. Uh, uh, we're just asking. We're asking yeah, we yeah I, I get you. Mm. Okay, I, I don't think really it's fair in all standards. Because now, mm. I have so many people who supported me. Mm. Okay, I don't know legally, but politically, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think. I okay, don't because think it's it's a, a now, now, let, me, let, me, let me go back to the strange. issue of uh, okay. let, let me go back to the issue of uh, of, 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 uh, of the issue of, 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 the, of the suppliers and all that. Mm. I don't think the sister is uh, legally actually the sister is supposed to be pre-qualified mm-hmm. to supply or to do contracts with a county. Okay. Yes, it's conflict of interest, and she's not, according to you. Sorry? She's not pre-qualified. She's not pre-qualified and she's doing. Okay. Yes. Okay. In the first place, she's not supposed to be pre-qualified. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's why there is a pre-qualification. Okay. She's supp- essentially, you're, you're, she's being accused of single sourcing. No single sourcing. It's not single sourcing. It's conflict of interest. Okay. Yeah, it's conflict of interest. You know the, mm. you, you know the, the issue of a conflict of interest? Mm. It's always an interesting subject. Okay. And it's something that perhaps one can never discuss or talk about conclusively you've mentioned many things Mm. that you say the governor has done wrong yes okay but she has also accused mcas do any of her accusations hold water because essentially what she's alluding to is that mcas want her to agree to certain things and she's unwilling to agree to these things but is that in the impeachment motion because now i think whatever the uh, actually she has also accused us of uh, being used by the external forces that we are being compelled to impeach her by some maybe forces somewhere but i think we should limit ourselves to the accusations that we are put in that motion list them for us in, what, what are you accusing her of exactly number one is misuse of resources okay mm-hmm. because now you you can't you can't uh, you can't embezzle the county funds using your relatives okay you Number can't two? or you shouldn't you shouldn't sorry okay. you shouldn't okay you <laughs> can't can. but you shouldn't because she has done <laughs> yeah. Number so two? you should number two we have uh accused her of nepotism mm-hmm. there is uh any there, there is a there's a very interesting story the government was invited to china by by, by some farm somewhere in china which does uh, a private company yes a private company mm-hmm. which does a uh, cancer treatment equipment mm. so they wanted to partner and uh, do a cancer treatment center in meru mm. a cancer center in meru mm. so uh, the government received a letter we have those letters and uh, she was ex- expecting to go there with the with the with the with, with some technical team, oncologist and all that. Mm. So the government didn't go. She sent her sister, mm. the PA, the brother who is the security, the husband to the sister, mm-hmm. and the, the and the CC healthy. Okay. So the the two the two the 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 the, 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 the brother is a, a security officer employed by nation, national government. Okay. So he's a police officer. He's a police officer, actually. Okay. Uh, the sister has done something, a diploma. Mm. I don't know in what, but it's not in health. 
Okay. It's the PA. Living, living, living. Yeah, it's the PA. But she's the PA to the governor. Yeah, she's the PA to the governor. Oh, okay. Yeah. And also now the husband. And uh, now the the the, and the CC. The, the CC is, the, is a pharmacist. Yeah. Okay. So the letter mm. the, where we have an issue, mm -hmm. the letter written by the council secretary to the to the to the to the devolution mm, to the devolution ministry for mm. approval. Mm. He says that uh, this is our technical team yes. to go at the benchmark on uh, cancer treatment machines and all that. Yeah. Okay. Number two, they were supposed to go at the benchmark on uh, issues that were machinery. There is somewhere, I think we are being offered some machinery mm. by the, also by China government on uh, agriculture machinery mm -hmm. and the issues on affordable housing. Okay. But the main one was the issue of, uh, of the cancer treatment. Of the cancer treatment. Okay. okay. So, the, the, the question was this, and uh, also the, the lawyer and the lawyer came there and they tried to argue that there was no county government money lost in the mm. trip. But this was like a donation to the people of Meru. Mm. And you cannot argue this, there, was no, uh, there was no resources lost because you realize that uh, so even in our development, we, we receive a lot of money from the donors. So mm. that was a donation in kind also. Mm. So uh, the question we are we asking is this. Uh, we have so many oncologists in in the yeah. county government of Meru. Mm. How do you, if if the governor went maybe with this team, mm -hmm. maybe it could be understandable. But how would you send your security or PA or near the technical team to go and bench back on? Can mm. can we can we look at these 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 uh, uh, um, counts that yes. are being brought against her? Mm. I know you've talked about some of them, and obviously it doesn't sit well with a lot of folks. So. But let's look at the ones that were brought then before, mm. you know, um, okay. the assembly. Mm. There are seven counts. Mm -hmm. Gross misconduct is one of them, mm. followed by misappropriation of county funds, usurpation of the law and the constitution, nepotism, which you've talked about extensively, bullying, which is interesting. Uh, mm. That's, I think you also talked about that when you talked about when she comes to your wards and things like this. Mm. Um, contempt of court. And then the last one, which is a count, is talking about naming a public road after her husband without following the due process. So those are seven that have been brought. Right now. I mean, that's according to, yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. you impeached yes, her on. Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. yes this you time impeached her on those yes, seven time counts yes. this time yes, yes. round. Yes, yes. yes. yes? Mm. Now, of these things, these, they seem to kind of flow uh, into each other, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But now, on these counts is what she has been impeached on. And now, you also say that you have according to the assembly, that you have evidence of each and every one of these things happening and based on that, she does not fit to serve. Yes. I'm going to go back to another thing then because we cannot. this thing cannot be void of speculation. Mm. People say things that allude to one thing or another. Mm. That because she has spoken out in the manner in which she has and she has done things in the manner in which she has, it hasn't sat well with a lot of people. And that's why now this raft of counts has been thrown at her because the manner in which she has spoken out and held her position is unpalatable for many. Is that true? Or are we sticking to these counts and saying she has done wrong on these counts and it is because of that that she should then be removed from office? You realize that uh, there are many things that cannot be put in the impeachment motion because mm. th there are many things that you may not be able really to prove legally when you're trying to prove. Mm. So if you, you, you pick the ones you can prove, mm. and that doesn't mean that uh, there are no many others out there. Oh, so there are more than these seven. There are more, more than there are, there are many more than these that you cannot be. You, you realize it. Eh? There are areas that you, you even uh, suspect money has been lost. But who has those documents that can prove that the money hasn't been lost? Mm. It's her. She mm. cannot give you documents and go and beach her using them. Mm. So you 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 you. Uh, 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 we have so many other problems that we can talk about. But th there are the ones that you can prove. Mm -hmm. and so the, on uh, these and seven counts, these can are, I remind you again? Mm, mm. On these seven counts, what you're saying is that there's evidence that has met the evidentiary threshold yes 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 gross misconduct yes misappropriation of county funds that money has been taken which was supposed to be used for something and has been diverted to something else mm. usurpation of the law and the constitution nepotism bullying contempt of court naming a public road after her husband without following the due process all of these things you have evidence that sits yes. at the gate of each and every one of these counts yes, yes. Okay. All of them. Mm. These are the ones. The, the 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 problem we faced last time is that uh, we didn't have a lot of evidence. Mm. We didn't have documents. We asked 
for all the people we are saying they have been employing for example one of the usurpation of the of the one of, one of, one of the one of the counts eh? mm. uh, on uh, on the issue of uh, usurpation of the of the powers of the public service board mm -hmm. that's misuse of office uh, we approved as an assembly nine position nine nine, nine positions of the chief officers mm -hmm. today the governor has 18 18 chief officers 18 chief officers mm -hmm. she has never gone through the public service board and we we, we actually summoned the public service board in in the in the assembly mm -hmm. and we asked them now uh, did you approve these nine they has read, they have written us letters confirming that they never they don't know actually whether those people are employed by the uh, so how do you know that they are employed mm. we have their le letters we have their pay slips we have we have a letter uh, by the council confirming their employment Sorry? You have letters confirming letter of appointment. We have letters of appointment. From who, who from? No, we have our systems in the... In the no, 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 no. Who appointed oh, 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 them? Who the appointed the letter? The county secretary for the governor. Okay. okay. He has signed county secretary for the governor. Number two, there is a, there's an issue that has a brought a lot of uh, heat in Meru, mm. the issue of uh, traffic marshals. Mm. The governor went and uh, collected some people and uh, bought motorbikes using government money uh -huh. these people were never positions were never advertised it was never competitive and then she employed we have those all those videos launching them she called them traffic muscles in mm -hmm. Meru to control the traffic and others mm. when we have we have we have um, an inspectorate unit functioning mm. so we we fall on through the public service also we invited the public we, we summon the public service board on on the same and they say they don't know whether such people exist in Meru. They are on our own, uh, controlling traffic, they are being paid. So when we followed up, we have a payroll, we have their payroll, we have their pay slips. The governor went to the, in the office of the governor and uh, now she has, uh, she, she, some of them are indicated as uh, senior support staff. Mm -hmm. Then the others are cleaners. They indicate that as cleaners. Mm -hmm. We have their pay slips. We have the, the, the book that they sign every day, a copy of it. Mm. So uh, you know these things should all these things should go through through the public due service process. Board. So due process is the public service board must advertise these positions. Yes. And what, what happens? The recruitment process. What happens? Who signs the letter of appointments normally in such a process? It's the public service. It's the public service. Yes, board it's public service that does the appointment. Yes. So the chair of the public service board is the one that appoints you to office. No. Or is it the county secretary? You go through the interview. Mm -hmm. Then when you go through the interview, you get an appointment letter from the public service board. From the public service board? Yes. Not the county secretary? Not the county secretary. So have you summoned the county secretary and asked them we why? We summoned him twice. Mm. He didn't appear. He ignored. He, even, he didn't even read a letter. Okay. We summoned the chief of staff. Mm. He did not appear. And then we realized also, Something I think there's, there are some things we cannot put in the impeachment motion. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, like ninety-five percent of these uh, traffic marshals come from two churches, her church, and another church that I don't want to mention in Meriton that they preach with. So the whole church is employed. <laughs> okay, that's a problem too. You see, now you cannot go to Senate and uh, and 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 uh, and say that and say these people are from the same church and you cannot prove. You understand? Okay. That's what I'm saying. We have so many issues in Meru mm. <laughs> that we we may not be able to. Moshimiwa <laughs> Jim, one thing that is questioned here because I mean, look, it, it could be seen as a rarity, right? That you bring a motion of impeachment twice in a it's I mean it's a year. Mm. It's twice in a year. Mm -hmm. Impeach once, impeach twice in, in 12 months. Shouldn't you then all seek fresh mandate from the people? And this is a question that has come up. If this is proving so difficult, because obviously there's a clash of personalities here. That is clear. Whether these counts hold water or not, there's a clash of personalities. There are issues as per the stuff of her governorship and her leadership, right? Would it not make sense to dismantle this whole house of cards and say, you know what, let's go back to the ballot and see if the people of Meru, for whom all of you represent, members of the county assembly, the governorship, all elected, should you not just go back and say, look, guys, can we start this thing from the beginning? You, Would it work? You, 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 you have a governor mm. who can't agree with her deputy, mm. can't agree with MCs, mm. can't agree with a single MP in Meru, can't agree with any 
uh, anyone in leadership in Meru, so she's the problem <laughs> can't agree with all the people if you got a driver from here mm. going to Embu, mm. then he causes an accident at uh, maybe somewhere around Nyayo mm. stadium mm. causes an accident around Kasarani causes an accident uh, around Zika mm. is involved in another accident maybe around Sagana now before he gets to, maybe he gets to Hembu, mm. he has like seven accidents. Mm. You think the people on the road are the problem? Maybe the road is bad. What, what, what do you think? For, for him only? <laughs> on her? <laughs> so, uh, in terms of seeking fresh mandate, eh, mm. I think the problem is one person. And even in the time of Jonah, when the when there was a problem with the boat, they not really they threw away. They not throw the whole boat because now one person has a problem. They threw Jonah. So I think that's what, that's what should happen. You know, <laughs> because they don't believe really Meru has a problem. It's only one person who has a problem. Well, you know, you know, we're coming to an end. But in all honesty, was she not? Popularly elected. Is she not still? She was popularly elected, popular. but but also so we, we, we also we also popularly elected, mm. and that's why I think the the, the, the people who drafted the constitution for us saw such a problem. That's why they put the issue of impeachment. So now when people make a mistake in ballot, it can be corrected. Also, oh, people may have made a mistake by voting her in. Is that what you're saying? Actually, they are regretting now. Ah, yes, yes, and and, and actually, so what impeachment you, your, your solution Eric, 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 here before, is before we go. Mm. We have uh, let me tell you another thing we have done mm. on 14th this month. Mm. On 14th this month, we organized a meeting and invited the governor and home relationship to see whether we can solve issues at Zika 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 Sunstar. Mm. She never appeared. Instead, she sent over 200 goons from Meru to come and, uh, and 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 in the meeting. We invite she has a letter. I said, I, I, I did the letters. She did not appear. And the leadership, the MPs, the CSs, we want them to talk about Meru. She never appeared. So, what do you do? We have seven actually from today. Mm. We have uh, at least a possibility of seven more impeachments. <laughs> seven. So for us, we will because we don't want to be blamed by the people at the end of the day that you, you saw the mess, you never did your work. We want we will do it as much as possible until Meru is clean. Jim Mushuri, as many times as possible. Is the majority whip in the Meru <laughs> County Assembly. Thank you very much for joining us. <laughs> Conversations continue in the next hour. Good morning, eight a.m.